Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna clean this DPF filter with two chemicals which are not aggressive to the DPF core and the stainless steel material that the exhaust is made of. Um, I'm gonna use brick and patio cleaner and the Mr. Muscle drain gel. The first one we're gonna be using is the drain gel, which we're gonna use in order to get rid of all the oily um, deposits inside the DPF. And then the second step will be to use the brake and patio cleaner. I've got a large stainless steel toad pin. I'm sure most of you won't have this, but you can use anything. You can maybe buy a, an old cheap IBC, cut the top of it, or just something large, like a really large container or bucket. Whatever you have, this is what I have, this is what I'm using. The first stage will be to use the Mr. Muscle drain gel. Then we're gonna rinse it, we're gonna soak it. Um, I've got probably about 90 to 100 liters of water here and I'm sure this is going to be plenty and it's a really large container so it's going to be pretty comfortable to work and rinse um, yeah these two chemicals are properly tested so they're not going to cause any any harm on your DPF so if you don't make it better you're certainly not going to make it worse and before you install it obviously follow my tutorial follow my video um, don't do anything stupid don't power wash it um, you can use obviously the, the, the pressure of your uh, garden hose but certainly do not use any pressure power washers or anything like that um, so I'm just gonna show you how you can do it in your at your own house uh, with nothing fancy but these two easily available uh, chemicals from most stores and as I like to say let's not waste any time and let's get started You can clearly see even with just pure water um, there's a lot of stuff that comes out um, comes out of the exhaust so you can imagine what's going to happen whenever we use the chemicals I haven't used anything um, so far just pure water and you can see there's a lot of dirt coming out of the exhaust Just want to show you the foam is obviously um, clean enough on the top. I mean, it's still like kind of gray, <laughs> white and gray, but this is nearly 200 liters of water and it's uh, pure black. So you can imagine all that stuff was inside and this is just an early stage of the cleaning process. We're going to go through a lot more cleaning, but that just shows you how much um, soot and ash and oil and whatever else is obviously from the unburnt fuel and all the captured particles that that's all in your DPF. Now when it comes to the disposing of the chemicals from the cleaning process and the waste from the DPF I like to use my three-stage cleaning septic tank which I have at my property so literally just lift a couple of these concrete slabs and it's very handy when I use the toad bin because it has wheels on it and I could just stow it and bring it here to my septic tank, dump it in, and then I don't have to worry about any environmental issues. Now, let's uh, go back to the second cleaning stage where we're gonna use the brick cleaner. and Let's get started.
not sure if you can see it clear on the camera here, but the amount of ash that is coming out of this is absolutely crazy. So I keep pouring this and then I'm going to dilute it with water. And uh, I want to take a picture, hopefully a close up and I'll show you what kind of a mess is coming out of here. This is all the kind of brown, reddish stuff. This is all ashes that uh, obviously can't come out with the drain gel. So all this bad stuff now, it's coming out and hopefully this cell is gonna be absolutely shiny and brand spanking new. So give it a good shake. This is all ashes. The amount of ashes that have come out of this DPF. And this is just uh, the really kind of um, the big particles that got stuck here uh, when I was draining the bin. And you can see all the brownish kind of red, red watery stuff that is uh, leaked out of here. So I've dumped everything. The only thing I've got left here is the, just the really kind of large bits. It's like the stuff, if you basically crumble a brick, that's what it looks like. Let me see. And it dissolves when you rub it. Now doing the final stages of rinsing. By the way, this uh, takes quite a long time from start to finish. Uh, when you use the first stage, which was the drain gel, it takes a few hours just to get everything nice and clean. And then the second stage where we used the brick and patio cleaner, this was a more aggressive chemical to get all the ash out. So yeah, this is, um, this is more or less uh, the filter completed and hopefully it will work for you in the same way the way it worked for me. I'm going to show you a quick picture of the final product and hopefully you enjoy this video. If you do like it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I'll see you in the next one.